Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host, GTI Zelot here. Um, last episode, I believe this is episode 12. Let me check here. I guess I should be up on this stuff. No, it's episode... Uh, no, it'll be episode 13. Episode 13. Okay. Uh, so, I realize that my CV has some limitations. <clears throat> For starters, my SV couldn't fit in it. And that was an issue when I went to Pandora. Uh, there was a planet that didn't allow me to actually land my, land a CV on. So... I wanted to jump in my SV that was parked on the roof, but I couldn't because the temperature was so hot out in space there that I would have instantly fried. So I came back home disappointed that I couldn't go there. I, I did succeed in, in getting my arrestrium and stuff like that. So I decided to strip down the old hangar, the flying hangar, um, uh, aka Death Trap, or that is her name, the Death Trap. Um, and well, as you can see, I put a bigger <laughs> hangar door in the Death Trap and kind of made it a little bit more roomy. So. Um, oh, as the sun comes up here, I can I can give you a little tour. So we're back on dirt, as you can see. Now, this is the the hangar. This is my SV that you can see fits in here no problem now. In fact, I could fit multiple of them in here no problem. Huge open area here. My Hover vehicle fits in, no problem. Now, the reason I got them parked at the back is because it's just, I don't need to pull them all the way forward and they, they can sit side by side, They're easy to back in and out. Perfect. Um, so I set up lots of cargo space. There's some um, O2, an armor locker, some more O2, and a few advanced constructors. Um, so basically we have three advanced constructors, one to, to grind up the ore and dang it, it's another one to make ammo and, and fuel and the other one to actually build stuff. So we'll go up to the first level or the, the, the um, second level, so to speak. And this is the bridge, uh, sick bay, crew, uh, quarter rest area so as you can see there's the bridge up here uh, a little bit bigger than before and it actually has a, a sick bay now so uh, has all the gadgets and gizmos that you need to actually survive I put the um, repair some more O2 another armor locker and a fridge up here for the um, crew um, you can see there's actually the windows come up now. Yes, you're going to say, hey, you can't see out the front window. I don't care. I always ride in third person anyway, and I don't see a problem. Do you see a problem? I don't see a problem. So, you know, this is for me, not other people. They don't have to live with it. Uh, so here's some a couple of uh, uh, crew chairs. Um, for weapons and and flight now we can go up outside of it and you can see it's substantially larger than the other one or than it used to be this is the same it's actually the same core i never even multi-tooled the core i didn't have to move it because it was already at a in a good location i just encased it in more steel um, so it is still the death trap truly it is that the core is still the the core of the death trap so um and that's what really counts it's 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 not a new 
vehicle. It's it's a it's just an upgraded one. Okay, so yeah, this is the only access to the to the upper deck. Which let's go upstairs or up on. We'll walk up here and I'll show you. Okay, so got a whole bunch of turrets. Got a whole bunch of thrusters. So these turrets. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch that only work in space, and that is fine for me. You can see the um, I still got some multi guns, um, multi gun turrets. Uh, I got six multi gun turrets in total. So I was actually contemplating on putting some cannon turrets on somewhere, but then I'd have to add some space for that. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so whoa. Yeah, if I fell off here, I'd probably die. So looking down, um, it's not a small ship. <laughs> but it's not gigantic either. It would be considered a midsize, small midsize. And here, let's check out the specs really quick. Um, it is a class three vessel. Um, Unlock a 25. That's because I have a bunch of gear on here that requires level 25 to make uh, a bunch of the weapons. <clears throat> uh, it has two T2 generators, so they're it's putting out way more power than what it needs. Uh, it's got 10 <laughs> tier three fuel tanks. Um, it's got a warp drive, of course. A whole whack of oxygen tanks. Um, ten of them, ten of the large ones. Uh, four ventilators, three oxygen stations, one medic station. So you can see it has four rocket launchers, six pulse lasers, six mini guns, uh, six pulse laser turrets, four of the rocket turrets, uh, one drill turret, one two artillery turret, two plasma turrets, and one flak. Now the flak was just thrown on there because I had looted it, and it's like, eh, what can I put here? I'm thinking I might actually swap that out for either another, um, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put two cannon turrets up there and utilize some more, get some more uh, atmospheric attack capability in, because uh, all I got is minigun right now. So I guess if I put cannon turrets on, that would give me some more atmospheric attack capability. Anyway, so that's that's her in a nutshell. That's the death trap in a nutshell. We'll uh, uh, go inside now and actually here I'll drone it up and I'll just <laughs> it's it's a bit of an ugly beast still. Um, whoa okay. Won't go quite so far. Oh, what's going on there? A little bit of a video glitch. That's okay. So you can see she's got some decent sized thrusters on her now out the out the front she's got four of what it used to have two of out the back uh, now it's got four on each side of those size and then out the back it has a couple of the massive largest size thrusters I've kind of buried them one square in and Put a little bit of shielding around them um, because they they are the only rear-facing thrusters. If if one of them got taken out, it might not go so fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the outside of it. I know it looks like a barn. It's a big flying freaking barn. Yeah, yeah, I know. So coming down at the front here, here, let's walk down. The drone is being a little bit of a pain. Now, if I fell down, the only way to get back up here is actually through the back hatch. I don't actually have any other entry or escapes other than this one entrance here and the back uh, hangar bay door. 
Okay, so this took me quite a while to build to strip it down and just I just started throwing blocks on it. Just blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks. And expanding it. I kind of I kinda of knew what I wanted in my head a bit. It's it's not as organic looking as I wanted. It's got a real hunchback to it. I'm not really happy with how this turned out here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I could move the whole, this whole fuselage cockpit area up a couple blocks. Um, that would decrease the humpback look to it. And it would also give me some more potential turret space underneath for um, for turrets. Uh, so I might be doing that in the near future because I'm not really sure if I like how that's functioning right now. Uh, it doesn't really look that great, but it never looked that great before. And I mean, I guess it doesn't look that bad. You know, it looks a little better than it used to, but yeah. So I've got the uh, drill turret off the nose here because that's the easiest place to have the drill turret. <laughs> um, and I've already I've already taken it up and tried it out. And oh, you can see I've got some damage on here. And that might be the block that's damaged. I was looking for the damaged block. For some reason, my um, my repair bay, my repair block on the base isn't repairing it. I don't know why, but well, let's uh, give that a quick repair then. Oh, yeah, it had taken 800 points damage or so. There we go. There we go. Couple some more damage on those. Okay. Oh, well, that one took some damage too. Nice. I don't really care if they're shooting at the nose. I mean, really, that's what it's there for. Shoot at me, shoot at me. All I am is metal. No, they would have been shooting at turrets and shit. Probably at the cockpit, because that's about the cockpit height right there. So they're shooting in at the cockpit. Um, trying to get through to the cockpit, which is going to be nearly impossible. I mean, that's like one, two, three, four, four blocks to get through before it punctures the cockpit. Granted, they could take out a window real easy, but that's still above the height of the cockpit. So, hmm, I think it'll be fairly well protected while I'm flying it. Let's go inside, and I'll show you around. So, this is the bridge area, like I was saying, the hangar, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just some sleeping, some quick crash pad area. I don't really have very good sleeping accommodations on board, but at least there's something on, on she didn't used to have anything before. Now there's actually a toilet and a shower. Really awesome. Uh, I've had to use the shower a bunch of times. Lots of radiation out there in space. Okay, so up here is the lounge area garden. Um, so I've got uh, dirty... Oh, let's pick all this here. So I've got 36 grow plots. Um, nine of each durian, pumpkin, and tomato so that I can... Oh, the tomatoes aren't ready. Okay. Uh, so that I can actually make canned vegetables. And I've been pumping out a bunch of canned vegetables. Don't know why the tomatoes weren't ready. I picked them all at the same time. I guess they're s slower than the others to grow. And I've got aloe and fiber as my other two plant types. Uh, the reason I got aloe, I mean, aloe does 
a bunch of medical crafting component stuff. Okay, so why isn't that growing either? Wow, okay. Okay, I guess uh, there's a couple things. Things don't all grow at the same speed, obviously. Uh, I had a bunch of tomatoes in there already, so I can go ahead and make a bunch of canned vegetables anyway. So we'll pump those out. So that's pretty handy. I can actually uh, make food in my CV now uh, from a so it's kind of self-sufficient. As long as I have iron and promethium, I can I can have food for days. Okay, so this is the lounge area. Pretty simple. Uh, I didn't really deco it out too hard. Um, got a bar, um, a table to do whatever on, eat or play cards, whatever. Uh, got a nice comfy sofa with a uh, big screen TV there. Um, and so that just goes down to the other side. So I'll bring you up to engineering here. So this is the engineering bay. And I have a, uh, an emergency um pilot console up here um, just it just in case you never know plus it adds another place for somebody else to sit and use turrets and stuff so it gives it gives a capacity of currently four people seating including the uh, driver uh, so I have the doors marked red on purpose because if we go past this door we will die and as you can see, yeah. Bad, bad, bad. We, this one's marked yellow because you're not going to die when you go in the door. But if you move too far, you will. <laughs> uh, I don't think the, yeah, the gravity gen doesn't give off any. No, I think this gives off stuff but not enough to get past our suits uh, natural immunity to it um, and then you can directly access the I think you should be able to get to it from here yep. don't even have to get that close to it so perfect uh, yeah so this is the, the new ship um, it's got pretty much everything I need in the way of amenities. Um, it's got every modern convenience that a CV can offer. Uh, lots of weaponry. The whole thing is made out of combat steel so it can actually take um, it can take a, a blow. And I went out and tested it and I don't know if you remember, I forget what episode it was, when Stickus and I were out in the asteroid field, we we came across a, um, a spiral base, alien base, that had a couple of satellite bases to it, and they just had tons of turrets on it, and it was just this insane, crazy... Uh, mass amount of turret attack and I had to hide behind an asteroid and then we just took off. Well, I took this thing out there and I didn't have to hide that much actually. This thing just unleashed hell on fire on it. But it, it actually uh, it is super fast and nimble for its size and that's probably why it did so well because I was able to just move around and and move too fast for the turrets to hit me uh, meanwhile my turrets were just unleashing into it I, I, I unloaded like 3,000 rounds of the laser the pulse laser turrets were just doing some mass amount of works those pulse laser turrets um, even if those are the only thing you put on for space those rock they really rock um, and of course the stuff that you shoot manually with the, uh, 
the rocket launcher and the pulse laser. I have six pulse lasers on it, so I can I can shoot those too. So I actually can shoot while I'm flying this thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's actually how I took out a lot of the, the turrets was with the um, rocket launcher. So today, what I'm thinking is I want to go check out what is on that planet that we couldn't get to because I couldn't get in my SV and fly down there. Um, I just want to check a couple of things really quick here. I have no idea where I put my heavy armor. <laughs> and... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I've got a couple of suits of heavy here. Let's bring at least one with me. I can repair it if I need to. I've got some mediums on there. I'll leave an EVA and a heavy down here at the base just because that's a bare necessity to get into some of the the uh, space play fields. Um, I think we're good to go. I think we got everything on here right now that we need. It's pretty self-sufficient. I've mined a bunch. Um, I think I still actually... Did I, did I get everything out of here? No, I didn't. So I went and mined some Zacosium. I got a whole bunch of Pentaxid. That's how much was at that Pentaxid um, asteroid that was being guarded by that POI that I took out. So awesome. I also had another... I don't know, 600 refined or so. So we're rocking for Pentaxid now. Um, we're actually doing really good for everything. Let me put, you know what, let's just put all this stuff where it's supposed to go. Um, getting used to the menu screen here. Put the core into the smelter. Uh, I don't necessarily need to get any of that going. I've already got quite a bit already smelted. Um, and ore actually takes up half as much space. So Then we'll put the Promethium in the fuel one. Um, now I could make some more fusion cells right now, I guess. I could get that going again. I just turned it off, but I do have a shit ton right now like like wow four full stacks of them so I don't know I don't know if I need to make more right now we can sit on the reserves that I got uh, let's put that stone away uh, where do I put the stone where do I put stone oh let's make a new one called stone Okay, we'll put the Pentaxid into the thermal fuel because it'll grind that up. Uh, now the heavy armor, I'm wondering if I should just put that on right now. I'm thinking I should. So let's just go into... I'm thinking I should just so I don't forget. Where are they? Is it, oh, it's equipment. E, 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 equipment. There we go. Right. I named them. So it's on the bridge. I'll use the bridge one. Why not? So we'll. Oh, let's pop these boosts out first. Multi boosts. Put that away. And I'm inside my CV right now, so it doesn't matter. Um, that I have no armor on right now. So let's go back in here, put the heavy armor on. So what is that change? So let's see, we're at 437, uh, 1200 durability, minus 40 to, to 75 and 16, and then a bunch of mods uh, so it costs twice as much to eat. Uh, jump is really low. 
costs a lot to jetpack around, eats up a lot of stamina, and um, consumes more power. So, yikes. The only benefit it has, well, which is huge, is the armor, the durability, and the comfort zone and radiation, the natural comfort zone and radiation. Also, it has a really high base amount of oxygen to the heavy. Uh, let's take a look at medium here. So the armor value drops substantially, almost in half. Crazy. Um, durability half, and this is medium. Wow. Minus 25 to 60. What was this again? This was 40 to 75. Okay. The power factor... 0.53, stamina, jet, 144, jump, 5.5, five, so food, so we can see that, so the degradation factor doesn't do anything, so power is better on the medium, actually pretty much Every, all the stats on the medium are better all around except for the ar armor, durability, comfort zone, and radiation. Okay, um, that's okay. I'm just going to put it on right now. We'll put some multi boosts on. Uh, we'll get the EVA on just so I don't forget it. Uh, that does drop our overall temperature that we can sustain at a higher level of only 64. Now, I know I've got more boosts. Yeah, I've got temperature boosts. So I've got four temperature boosts. So let's play around with that a little bit, see what combo we can get. I'm going to pull these armor ones out too, because we might have to uh, put some armor on. Let's try, let's get the rad ones out here too. And temperature, jetpack. Okay. So let's go back into the armor locker. So I don't have any more multi boosts. I do have an insulation boost. So this will put me up to 69. 231.69. Can I get it higher? Let's see. 72. Um, like obviously, I could go like that and get that up to 92. Not bad. Can I, what's the max? I don't have four. I thought I had four. Did I only grab three? Did it do? Okay. Guess I derped. Okay, so let's see what four will give us. So ninety-five. So so that is the max possible heat that that I can do that is currently available in the game. Really, I think is. Uh, four insulation boosts on heavy armor. Uh, we can sustain minus 60 to 95. So 95 is the cap out. Okay, good to know. So let's get my multi boost back in here. We'll put the Eva boost on one. Um, do I put armor on? Yeah, it really, really screws with the temperature. Well, we'll try it with the armor on. So minus two twenty-five to sixty-two. Uh, we've got. So the, okay. Well, that's interesting. So 
See, I don't know what these numbers mean now. You'd think, okay, so multi-boost. Uh, Jetpack factor point. Is that is that like, is it better or worse? There's no hover over explanation. Uh, I just don't know now. Like you'd think, I don't know. Now I'm confused. Because you'd think that the armor would decrease the jetpack factor, right? So if we take that off, now we put it on, it's 1.97. We take off the multi-boost and it goes up. Even more? No, it goes down. So when we put on the multi-boost, it goes down. When we put on the armor, it goes up. So multi-boost goes down. And armor goes up. So I'm thinking jetpack factor, the lower the number, the better. Oh, I didn't know the EVA had a bunch of stuff on it too. The armor minus 150, that's, that ki that's a killer. Uh, okay. Well, let's just go with that. Let's let's take off. Let's go fly this thing. Let's go visit that stupid planet and see if we can die. Did I leave the bay door open? Yeah, perfect. I can't, I can't figure out how to put a switch on that thing and to control it from here. I wanted to put a switch on the wall and turn it off and on to open and close it. Um, I'm not sure if that's capable. So I did put um, just some basic panel switches in. I didn't put any signal logic stuff. And I'm thinking the signal logic I could probably turn the, the uh, door. Well, I could probably open and close the door with it. Anyway, so let's turn the turrets on. Let's turn the thrusters on, the engines on, the glide on. I'm not going to worry about the drill. Uh, I'm, I'm in the cockpit right now. I don't have to worry about the gravity. Uh, let's see how much does that... It eats up a bit. It does eat up actually a substantial amount of energy, doesn't it? Eh, it's cool. It's got a coolness factor. Let's go. We've got lots of food. We've got lots of oxygen. We've got lots of energy. did some mining in there already earlier with this thing and it works good um, yeah yeah it's it's almost as fast as at picking up or as my HV is almost not quite but pretty close and out in space it's awesome for it so let's see where we're going right now we are up here in Hidden Sanctuary. We gotta to head to Asteroid Field first. So let's do that. 
you can see how fast this thing maneuvers. It moves faster than what my computer can render it. And it like, so side max thrust, 91, and then turn the other way, max thrust to 91, not bad. It actually, side to side strafing on it is really, really good. I was really happy with it. Not to mention the the crazy maneuverability of it. Okay. Uh, now I lost it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, since it's that way, I don't want to fly through the planet. I'll go backwards and warp. <laughs> yes, you can do that. You just got to get up to speed. Doesn't matter what direction. You just got to be facing the, uh, the target, I think. Okay, so I've marked a bunch of stuff in here. I was just in her earlier. This is where I actually took on that POI. We don't need to do that. What I am going to have to do is, oh, let's let's deal with all this crap. So, go into here. This way. Okay. And we'll leave that stuff out on me. That's fine. Uh, let's have a quick bite to eat really quick. So I don't forget and die. There we go. I love having the fridge right handy there full of food. You can see, you can see I've made a whole bunch of cans of, of vegetables now. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I've, I've got food for days, literally. Okay. I cleaned up my inventory a bit. Oh, derp -a derp Got to get the uh, fuel. We'll go into the pentaxid reserves here. And fill that up. Okay. I oh, might as well fill both these up while I'm here. I don't think there's anything to fill there. I've got uh, lots of... Well, fair amount of ammo. Good enough for now. Good enough for now. So, let's go. Find this place. So now, that was down here, Pandora. I can't get there. I gotta go to Orbital Trading Station first. Okay. So up here, whoa. Yeah, my, my CV turns really fast. Really, really incredibly fast. And up to speed and boom. So it gets up to max speed almost instant too. It's it's really, I mean, other than being ugly, it's it functions exactly how I want it to. Um, okay, so there's a something here. What is that? That is the orbital trading station, yeah. I do have a bunch of credits. I could go check it out. Nah, we're on a mission. We're on a mission. Go to Pandora. And here we go. Okay, so that's all from when we marked it last time. Which one was it? Now there's, that's the moon. Is that Pandora itself? Was it Pandora we couldn't go to? Or was it, was it the research planet? So the research planet has Zas, Pant, Sathium, Gold, Promethium as asteroids. Nah, not interested. 
Pandora. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at Elephant Centauri. Derp derp. Let's let's look at the actual. So the research planet has, yeah, no Arrestrium. We've got a bunch of Zas. We do have a bunch of Arrestrium too. Don't really need it. I just wanted to see. So. So is it Pandora that wouldn't let us land? That has a restroom and gold on it. The moon had a restroom. We went to the moon. I didn't think we we didn't even want to go there, so that we probably so it must have been Pandora. Okay. So let's head to Pandora. I think that's it right there. Oh, right, they got the new auto brake thing. Just got to hit I. Yeah, how cool is that? And then you just drift. And then just hit I again. And you cannot enter this planet with a CV. Please turn around. Okay. So this was the one that just keeps getting cranky at you until you until you back off. I'm not sure how far I got to back off. Looks like 1,500 meters or so. Okay. And well, let's uh, let's go. You can see gravity generator allows me to walk around in space. Just like, um, well, just like there was gravity. Hence the name gravity generator. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to need probably a bunch more ammo. So let's, let's spin some of that up really quick here. So the minigun ammo. My minigun's actually getting a little bit damaged. It's getting a little bit damaged. I'm wondering if I should, let's, uh, okay, let's get the ammo going. Get the ammo going first here. So the minigun has the 8.3. Uh, each one is 50. So... That's 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Okay. Now, as that spins up, we'll put all this other stuff away. Uh, I'll keep that much on me to refuel my SV and the oxygen. Good. Okay. So we're going to be taking this beast out. It should let us fly. See, I can get in it now because it's inside. This is exciting. Okay, come on. I should have made ammo earlier. That was really stupid of me. I <sighs> got a bunch of gold coins too. So excited. I can cash those in. How's it doing? 500 gives me 1500 plus you know what you know what for now I think just to go exploring with this should be fine uh, I've got a bunch of drill charges good because I'm going to need to use that and multi charges okay okay so let's just grab some food then we'll go into my uh Bridge, fridge. Grab three of those and five. I got thirteen of 
those. We might be able to kill some critters too. So that'll be fine. Oh, here, let's let's grab what it's done. Might as well. One last one. Okay, thank you. Let's go. So, oh, let's see, this is kludgy. I'm, you know what, the next thing I'm going to do is build a new SV because this freaking thing, to get in and out of it, is really a pain in the ass. Like, like seriously, a pain in the ass. Gotta like. There we go. You can enter a planet only. You can. Huh? Was I in the wrong? Did I have the wrong one? You can enter a planet only as a passenger. What? Am I like clicking on the wrong one? You can enter a planet only as a passenger. Uh, am I not allowed to go there? Okay, so let, I don't know. Let's, this doesn't make sense. Okay, let's fire it up. Let's see if I can fly. I can fly. I can fly, I can completely turn around while I'm inside the, the bay. So... Okay. Dora, is it gonna let me? It looks like it's gonna let me. Atmosphere of Pandora. Um, very purple. Let's see if I can. I hate first emerging on a planet I've never been on. I have no idea what kind of POIs. I have no idea whew, anything about this planet. purple fog that just kind of permeates the whole thing. Oh no, as we get lower, okay, we're coming out of the fog. Oh, look at this place. Oh, it's, it's kind of creepy looking, but it's pretty. So it's like a kua and a desert and Tropical forest. Very, very cool. Huh? Huh? What do you guys think? Kind of sexy. Oh, and what is that? Those are little specks of uh, pentaxit. Okay. There's pentaxit deposits too. Okay, so let's uh, let's just level off here. Let's take a look really quick to see what we've got. Uh, the air is breathable. No, it is 75. It goes from minus 70 to 75 degrees. 1.73 for gravity. Ow, ow, ow. That's I'm not even going to be able to jump. Uh, it's got iron, cobalt, copper, silicone, promethium, magnesium, and pentaxid. Wow. 
Um, and then meteorites on depletion. Sathium, promethium, magnesium, pentax, so the whole gambit, and then random ones. Zoscosium, so neodymium, arrestrium, and gold. Okay. Uh, so you can actually get everything on this planet, potentially. Every resource there is. How big was that pentax? 321. Holy crap. Let's, let's fly around a bit. Let's fly around a bit and see, see what we can see. There's got to be POIs, right? Right? Maybe not. It's kind of too bad it's not breathable. Would have been a cool planet to set up a base on if it was breathable. Although, with all the water, it's really not an issue. Generating oxygen would be pretty easy. Some weird things happening with the uh, graphics for the water. See that? Oh, the. Uh, it looks like the sun's going down. Here, let's chase the sun. Liking the size of that Pendaxa deposit, 321. This, this might be a really good planet to come and uh, get resources on. The only problem is this SV is not the greatest for for mining with. Is that something over there? No, just tree. Oh, oh, there is something there. See that? Uh, sneak up, sneak up a little closer. Is it gonna shoot? Spooky house. Oh, I'm really not liking this uh, graphic glitch with the water thing going on. Spooky house. What we got here rail gun, 15 mil. That's probably what we need to uh, deal with these guys with. Oh, what? Holy shit! No, 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 no. What, 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 what the? know how many there are. Holy crap. Um, am I going to have enough bullets to do these guys? Oh shit, they just keep coming out. Oh, coming at me now. They're coming at me. They're coming at me. coming out in like a swarm. How the... I'm trying to get close enough to see what this frickin' POI is. But there is like... It's just a... It's just a constant stream of them. I, I, I'm not gonna have the ammo to do this.
That is crazy. Over there. Why are they all parked on the ground? Are they stuck inside the building? No, they're over there. <laughs> just freaking me out here. Okay, so... There's drones in there. I can't, I can't go in there on foot because it's... Oh, I gotta turn the... Um, there. It's just a big... <laughs> It's ridiculous. Okay. freaking me out. I mean, it's called Spooky... What was it? No, it doesn't... Oh, right. I gotta turn it back on. Spooky House. Spooky House. It's freaking dr 
drones inside of it. What? If, really? And I can hear other guys in there too. So obviously there's there's stuff in there. I want your stuff. Hmm. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll keep exploring. That's that's interesting. That was fun. Waste of ammo, but hey. Okay. That was interesting. That was very interesting. How's my ammo doing? Still got lots of plasma charges and stuff. Okay, we're we're okay. We're okay. This is very cool. This does not look like any other planet I've been to before. Oh, that looks like it's a building. It is. Okay, so that was sneaky, kind of hidden. Oh, is it one of these have a billion turrets buildings? I think it is. This one, I actually have to go straight overhead. Because they can't shoot overhead. <laughs> it's almost like cheating, isn't it? <laughs> a hangar door on the very top, really? Oh. 
area. Is, is that the core? No, could be. I don't know what it was. It looks, looks like it's to die, whatever it is. I wonder if this has a whole bunch of indestructible blocks on it. Okay, let's turn my light back. Oh god, I can't see freaking squat. It's too bright. I don't know what that is. right there. Let's um let's do this the smart way. Yeah, it was looking at me too. It turned and looked at me. I guess it couldn't quite see me. Should be I should have brought my epic sniper. I mean this thing does have a pretty decent range, but okay, I don't see any others. I don't want to fall off the edge either. So that would be just stupid. Don't see any more. Spawner. No, it would have blown up already. Oh, shit. Is it not shooting at me yet? Why isn't it shooting at me? Oh, I've got range on it. That's why. Right, they don't have the greatest range. Okay. Okay, let's drone it up. See, that is a loot container. Lots of spawners. Whew, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Something shot my drone. Well, let's try again. Look at all the loot containers. Holy shit. Spawners. Now, if I shot in on an angle. See, that is the core down there. It wouldn't let me... I, I don't know what that blue container is, though. Is that like an ultra-rare or something? 
won't let me loot it with this anyway. And they're all, sh yeah, I can see there is turrets everywhere down there. Holy crap. Uh, hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know. Let's keep exploring. That's... I mean, that looked really juicy and there was like a lot of containers. Like, look at all those loot containers and they're all special colored ones too. Oh my god. Okay, so this might be something to come do with a couple of people, I think. Because as soon as those spawners spawn, we all know what happens. It's a steady stream of nasties. It's too bad I can't get my HV down here. Although I can get it to the moon. Hmm. Maybe I should use my HV to take on one of those aliens. church. Wow. An abandoned church. What? Don't look so abandoned to me. Take it out with some rail guns. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I didn't invite all you guys to the party, okay? I didn't invite you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Okay, this thing's... This thing, I guess, is probably better against turrets? Against anything moving, I can't hit it. Yeah. Oh, they're all coming at me now. They're coming at me. Let's, um. Let's try some cheapo missiles. Unguided. Unguided missiles. Yeah. Nice. Obviously, the guided missiles are the ones that are going to work the best. Oh, there wasn't nothing there. Oh, that was a dude. That's right, buddy. I'm killing your friends. I did not have the crosshair on him. There we go. haunted house just insane amount of dudes I see you down there too what are you doing oh is he stuck inside oh yeah okay so this is another one of these Another one of these can't can't damage. Oh, uh, I can damage stuff on the other side apparently. Oh, and there's dead guys right there. Yeah, I can't damage it. Damn it!
the front door. Another one got to get off on foot and deal with. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm not quite ready to take that on yet. Let's just keep keep cruising west. with the water is kind of irritating. Hmm. Oh, I haven't seen any arrest rim fall yet. I haven't seen any thing fall, to tell you the truth. spawn an HV and huh that's not a bad idea that's not a bad idea at all I could spawn an HV I can always multi-tool it down and put it back into a blueprint again make it ready to spawn again I could have like a yeah. Yeah. Then I could, like, get these ores and the pentaxid. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is a fantastic idea. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I know. I think. I think I know what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, um, oh, what do we got over here? We've got more stuff. Is that that dude? Is that the spooky house? Have we now went around the planet? Wow. There's got to be more than like a couple of people. Oh, it's a new spooky house. It's a different spooky house. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put my night vision on here because it's going to... Oof. Too, too much glare. Can't. Can't do it. Lots of pentaxid. Wow. Oh. So, is that the hidden one? Is that the one I killed? All the... The... Turrets on? Ok, 
Apparently, yes. Oh, what was that? That's usually the flash of a meteorite, right? So that's it? Just a, a couple of POIs? And a whole ton of resources. So, but there's no drone base? Looks like I've almost went everywhere. So the abandoned church. Spooky house. Abandoned church. Spooky house. That's the only spooky house to the south. There's nothing... Really? Where... Why didn't the other POI... The other POI didn't populate on my map. Okay. Wow. Wow. There's like nothing here in the way of... Uh, uh, POIs. Huh. Okay. Well, that kind of indicates to me, unless the, the spooky house or the abandoned church are the drone bases, which they could be because they're spawning them like crazy, but I don't think so. Um, I think I just need to find the biggest pentaxid deposits and throw down some auto miners. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's, that one's 1380, 1380 right behind me. 321, 321, 836. Okay, so we're gonna waypoint that one. And we're going to waypoint that one. And then we're going to head back to the CV and grab those auto miners.
Well, not as exciting as I hoped. Um, I mean, the haunted house and abandoned church. Eh. I guess it's gonna force me to get out and go in there, which the, the, the temperature variance on that planet is so extreme that I'm gonna have to have like an Evo boost with me to swap out and then temperature heat ones to swap in and uh, uh, doesn't sound like a very good adventuring planet but pentaxid deposits so let's go back to the cv food with me well guys I think that's it all I'm gonna be doing now is um, a little bit disappointing I, I'm gonna go throw down a couple of my auto miners that I have onto the pentaxid deposits and then I'm gonna probably just head back to dirt and rebuild the I want to redo the SV um, it's not as it flies great, but getting in and out is really clunky. So I think I might redesign the cockpit area and get that a little bit more functional. So next time, um, hopefully I'll have an updated SV to fly around. And I'll also spin up another one of my hover vehicles here in, in a factory and have that ready to spawn. Um, so that I can actually, when I come down to grab the uh, auto miners uh, in a couple days or whenever, I can actually spawn a HV and go around and like and mine all the pentaxid out also um, without having to get out of a vehicle. And I think that's going to be the way to do this. Okay, guys. If you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, other than that, we are going to be back doing some more shenanigans. And I still have not died. 299 kills. All right. Well, guys, take her easy. <laughs>